Illustrated storybook art. This is your challenge. It's very simple. Um, what I want to do is I want to make the Aesop Fables, which is a very they're very short stories. I want to be able to put those on a piece of paper and have a piece of art next to them. Much like stories that were in books and have like a little graphic that kind of represents what the story is about. Okay, so let's look look at that for example. Aesop Fables. Okay, you can see these. Um, they're just like little simple animals or uh, they, they don't even have a lot of detail to them. This is perfect. This little raven thing. Yeah, it's perfect. Little tortoise. And basically what I want is something that's very, very stylized. You know, I don't want a lot of detail. I don't want it to be... I like this. This is good right here. So it doesn't have to have a lot of detail. It just has to be able to be recognized as the thing that is in the story. So for this example right here, you see how they got the crow in the picture and they got the little tiny crow next to the picture and then they got the story next to it. That's what essentially we're making here. We're making that. Uh, they got a bug and then about the, the text, about the bug. But the text and the bug go together. They're in harmony with each other. So keep that in mind. And I'm giving you a lot of leg on this. Uh, here's some line art. I like this. This is perfect. Um, if I put a story next to this, it would look good. So what you have to do is first pick out your story. This is the type of artwork I'm looking for, but what I'm looking for is the story and the artwork. So here, here's an example. Aesop Fables Stories. Let's go to web. I think it's just aesopfables.com. And there's a million of these. So here's all the fables. But uh, for every fable, you see them all? Frogs in a Well, Frogs in Design King. So go in here and read this story. And come up with a line art illustration piece. And it doesn't matter what level that you are as far as an artist is concerned. And I want it 8.5 by 11 with 72 res. But the type of artwork has to be something like this where it, it's straight up line art. It can't have any gradients in it whatsoever. That's what I'm looking for. And trust me when I say if you look up storybook artwork for little kids, it some is very impressive, but some of them aren't. But it's the story that makes it, not the not the artwork. We're just enhancing the story with the artwork. So don't feel bad if you can't draw. You can make something stylized as long as it looks like the thing that is in the story, about the story, around that story, and matches. That I'll be good with that. You can't use anything off the internet whatsoever. You have to hand draw this. All right, so enjoy, and let's move on to the next uh, little section here. Once you're done with this video, we're going to be switching applications. The assignment, when you save it out, um, make sure you, when you save it, you go save as, and we're going to be saving as uh, SVG. So I think actually we have to export that. Export as. We'll do PNG. Okay. PNG. First name, last name, illustration on your desktop. And you can put it in a folder because eventually we're going to have to turn in that folder. Okay. So 
let's move on to the next piece of software.